Yeah, hi also a quick video just on how you can change over these red connectors. So um, basically these red connectors here are incredibly rare. They're the first time they've come on the market as far as I'm aware and I've been in C5s a, a long time. Um, eBay £3 or if you look on the Sinclair C5 owners forum and uh, you go via the post I've put on there directly to the seller, he's offered them for £2.25 each to anyone on the owners forum posted. Absolute bargain. No idea if he has a thousand of these or ten of these left. So ground wash can. This here is a telephone tool. I've never used one of these before because say, I've never had to do anything with on an old school telephone. But these are £1.79 on eBay UK. And what I had to do is, um, as you can see, I had to grind down the end. So this top end was matching this bottom end. Get rid of that. And what I did with that is use a Dremel with a diamond, just a cheapo diamond tip on there. And then this one here actually did the majority of the work here. So it's this one here on the outside. And then just to just to um, file down that middle section so it clears the, the clip on here, I used this just to done that. This is super easy, it took about two minutes to do. So this is the state here of the of a, of a typical sort of red connector. So you know, um, faded, looks a bit crappy, loads of corrosion on that side, not too bad on that side, who knows what's on the inside. Um, these ones here have the second pin blocked. The new ones you get don't have the pin blocked because that's a little bit of glue in there. So you just have to add a little bit of glue in there, you know, which is definitely the best technique, which is what I will be doing. Add a bit of super glue in there. Otherwise, you can just mark it up with a sharpie pen just so it's on there. So, so, so something's on there permanently, just so you know. And also, when it comes around to connecting the wires up to make sure you don't cock anything up. Um, so that's a selection of old ones there. Um, these are the alternatives that we have been using for a while. So you can see you have to um, either solder or crimp on each of these, which t does take quite a long time. And if you do solder them, you end up sort of generally cooking them a bit and they should really quick on the solder. So crimping is the best technique. You know, for these, to crimp these, you do need a special, it's something along the, line of the brand, along the, along the lines of a Molex or Molinex or something, some sort of special crimping tool to crimp these, these are tiny. And it's just, it's just a faff, but per works perfectly fine. But this is way better, so I've ordered say, a, a bunch of these. Cool, so that's the first part. And then I wander over to the C5. This is what we're doing at the moment. I've got my little setup here. So on part two of the video in a second, I will be actually showing you how I put in these these wires here. I haven't been able to do super close up, because this is, this is what I've got, you know. Um, that's the uh, one that I soldered on you know, a number of months ago. But now I've got access to these. I'm going for, uh, for these and all my C5s. So yeah, I'll show you guys that on the next part of the video. Cheers. Right, so I'm going to show you guys how I put on the new connector using this tool here. So these ones are the ones we can get through the C5 owners club at the moment. They're exceptionally rare. Um, maybe this guy's got 100,000 of these. Who knows, these have never come on the market before. So. Got an issue if you collect C5s or have C5s, grab some of those, grab a couple of those, you know, what you can. Otherwise, you're limited to these ones here, which you have to crimp on or solder on. Um, okay, cool. So, I've always started doing this. So, this is totally one, it's about it's £1.50 on the internet. Uh, make sure you put the wires in the correct way. So, as you see, I've done a few wires, so you snip it off on here, so you get a nice clean metal. And then, what I like to do is poke. A small amount of the wire down the end, just into the end here. Again, apologies if, if the filming is average, but you get this just so you guys get the idea. Hold it in place, hit your tool, and also I've modified this tool here. And as you can see, put it right in the middle of the wiring. And then gently poke it down. Then that's it. That's now on. Then obviously move on to the next one. That, get that out of the way. Make sure you know your wire is nice and neat, etc. Breaking up. Poke it down the end slightly. Just hold it in place. So that's the technique that I've, I've, I've done anyway. On it, and I've only done a few of these, obviously, because these are brand new. Get your tool. I'll try and sort of show it a bit better. Ultimately, you just ease it down. Yeah. And there we are, you're on. And that's all looking very, very good. 
and obviously make sure they're in there properly they don't actually pull out too wide and you know, don't know which way around it goes which is incredibly important to get these back in the right way otherwise you're going to have to take the control box off and then trace you know this wire here to trace it to the other to the plug on the other end to, to know that it's in the right direction so the right order because it obviously has to be in the right order um, obviously in modern cars they'd use different color wiring but obviously it's 80s Colour this is all, all red. Okay, and there we go. Cheers. So yeah, part three. So battery on. Battery off. So that's all done. Got your nice uh, nice new red clip on there. So it probably took literally ten minutes to modify the tool. Um, just to file it down slightly so it's fitted perfectly. Literally five minutes to fit one of these um, red plugs, really easy. Um, yeah, make sure your wires are pushed in nice and firm. And then, yeah, connect it up, wire back in your um, cover, and then um, drop done. And there we are. So, so it's, all, it's all sorted. And I say minimal money £2.25 each for the red blocks, £1.79 for the tool, and I say not much effort to fit them. Perfect, cheers.